I hear the unmistakable sound of an inn, which I will be getting to very shortly. Oh, look at that, we can get round the back. So what's this? The Joplin's Tavern? Okay, that's worth keeping an eye on. Who's this? Entelis Fulsom. He's got. Has he got a knife or a dagger on him or something? This is not good. Spit it out. Guys, we got trouble ahead. Prepare yourselves. We cannot save at this time. You rang. <laughs> We're about to be attacked. You cannot be saved. You cannot save at this time. Oh, ah, Elminster told me you'd pass by this way soon enough. Looking into the Iron Throne, are we? Uh, Elminster. Plate coy. This could be a trap. Tedious old fellow, isn't he? I suppose I will be too if I live to see as many sentries as he has. But enough talk of the good, Godan Firehammer. I have come to tell of the dark. You have a very special heritage, child. One that graces you with more enemies than friends, I fear. This city holds many secrets and dangers, and as you have rightly come to suspect, the Iron Throne lies somehow at the core of it all. Your investigations will not go unnoticed, nor, like as not, unpunished. I urge you to curry the favour of Scar and Duke Elton, both of the Flaming Fist, as they are good men at heart and capable of providing you with some guidance and protection in this urban vast. But I tarry here too long. It is best we not be seen together. Entellis Fulsome? Very, very bizarre. Pretty much reiterating what we've been told by Elminster. Trust Scar and Jolk Elton. We trust who we got well, have got down well pleased, go down things. Glad to meet you, friend. Oh for God's sake. Well, 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 well. We got more more meddlesome folks. He looks, he looks like he just wouldn't be able to harm a fly, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh there, watch your step on the wharfs hereabouts. The sea spray can make the cobbles a touch treacherous. My name is Caracas. Is there anything I can help you with? No. What? I don't like these two options. What do you do? The Duke's dockhand. Yeah, see you. Bye, thank you. You right. I'm all in. Good grief. Can we just walk around town without the interruption here? Yeah, I just Go want to buy now. some stuff. That's all I want to do, buy some stuff. This is probably going to branch off down to the bottom. Right, what's this then? Uh, right, where's my party? The Iron Throw? Oh! Well, would they be so brazen as to put their own bloody signature outside the building? Yes. Uh -huh. Surely not. Well, we're not going to go in there just yet, but it's uh, well worth noting where it is, isn't it? Eh? Just in case. Right, what's this then? So we're still gonna explore the Joplin Tavern. Let's uh, see if there's anything out there. No. Yep, the Iron Throne headquarters. <laughs> Nicely laid out for us. You rang. Go on then. Right, what's this then? Water Queen's house. Uh oh, here 
comes the rain. Right, what's this Hello there, dear. You were giving me the eye? Go on, or you got to squint? Spit. I'm on it. Oh uh, dear, things are taking a turn for the worst, weather-wise. Alright. This will be an amp a decent time to head into the inn. So we've explored here, 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 and now here, which leaves just this bottom corner, and then I think we'll leave it there for today. Bottom half of Baldur's Gate done, just the top half left to go, and then we'll head on out to uh, the uh, Derlags Tower after that. Well, I'm beginning to think, I don't reckon we're going to find anything else worth purchasing at this moment in time. Go on, then. Right, what's this Stranger things have been known, and there could be a battle axe, plus two waiting out there for Godan. He just can't take the, the, the risk of missing something that would be of great use to him. Sorted. You want some whiskey? Nope, none of these inns sell anything. Perhaps it's because it's such a large city that the inns don't have to sell stuff because that's what the shops are for. Whereas in a small town where there might be only like one shop or no shops, the inn has to cater for everything. So it has to be the has to be the has to be the Sorted. inn and the, the store combined. That could be it. Like your small village shops that you get, your small village shops that your post office, your shop. Your cafe all rolled into one. <laughs> okay guys, I know it's been a long morning, it's what now, 12 o'clock? We'll just explore this last little area and then we'll pick an inn to rest in for the rest of the day and then tomorrow we'll head out and explore the rest of Baldur's Gate because this place is humongous. Anyway, what are you moaning for? I'm doing most of the running around here. These good old boots of speed. Who are you? Alder Sashenstar. Alder Sashenstar, I recognise you. Right. You promised me some more coin for helping you at your hunting lodge. <laughs> Come on down, guys. I've got a familiar face next to me here. Alden Sash and Star saw go down, did a bout turn and was about to stride off, hoping that he wasn't going to see him. <laughs> when it comes to rewards, my friend, go down and sees everything. Go on, then, sort it. You there, identify yourself. It's so pleasant to see your faces once again. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you'd actually come. Uh, don't you recognize me? It's I, Alder Sashen Star. I'm so glad to have met you, especially at a time like this. I need to speak with you privately. Will you listen to what I have to say? What? We haven't come for more quests. We've come for reward. You said we should pop by for more reward. Yes, go on. What do you have to say? Thank you so much, my friends. This should suffice for privacy. I'm sorry for all of this hiding and skulking, but there are dire events afoot. You know that I am one of the principal shareholders of the Merchants League? Well, I share ownership of the company with two others, Erlentree and Zolmia, two very distinguished gentlemen. When I returned from my hunting trip, thanks to you, I might add, I found that my two partners had undergone some profound changes. Nothing physical or overt, but something far more sinister. Er, uh, yeah, go on. Sinister how? It's as if my partners had become wholly different people whilst I was gone. They almost take an active interest in squandering our company's resources on frivolous and stupid ideas. If they continue on this course, the company will be in the shambles in but a few weeks. I know you already have helped me once, but I ask for your assistance again. 
I have no other res no other recourse. Uh, what do you want us to do? How are we getting roped into this here? Come into the Merchant's League estate with me. I will explain that you are old friends of mine and will quarter all of you in the guest chambers. From there, please investigate my partners, perhaps using magic or any of the other skills you possess. Learn as much as you can during your visit and then report back to me after you're done. It should only take a couple of days. Yeah. If that's all we're doing, why don't you do it yourself? I'll be here well, some while more if you deign to change your mind. Speak to me again. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to insult you. I was just, just uh, asking the question. Right, anyway. If we accept the quest, it sounds like we're going to be whisked away inside here and forced to do it. So we'll leave him here, take note of where he is, and we'll come back. And he will have done him not just one favour, if we are successful of course, we'll have done him two favours. So we'll be expecting a massive reward. Not just a poxy potion, which is what he gave us last time, if I remember rightly. You rang. Right, what's this then? Anyway, we'll continue our explorations. Looking for stores, looking for inns and taverns and all the rest of that sort of jazz. Okay, uh, ooh, general store. Two general stores. Ah, okay. Go on, then. Just what are you selling, general stores? Please do enlighten me. Sorted. can get inside the damn place. Right, what's this right, hello there. You have just... Oh, they have a... Ooh, Destroyer of the Hills. Okay, average. Uh, it's got slightly better stuff, but still nothing marvellous. You right. Right, what's this then? Go on then. Right, what's this then? Pop over the road. Alrighty. I'm on it. And what do you have? Welcome to my humble establishment. Hmm. You could do with some more of these, actually. Where's Yeslik? Let's get f uh, four more of them. Oh, my... Yeah, business has been poor. Am I doing it again? Yeah, you know. I didn't battle scrolls last time, did I? I did the same thing. I, I did that and didn't, didn't click on buy, did I? Ah, for God's sakes. Right, there we go. You can keep the spare, seeing as your bags are empty and Imma ones are overflowing. You right. I'm on it. Go on then. Right, what's this then? Stay there folks, I'll do the scouting. Give it to me. Okay, this what's this big fortress here? Looks like a big fortification of some sort. Tavern and inn. Spit it out. Tavern and inn that sells nothing, I bet you. But we're just gonna take a quick look. Come on guys, I've come from all the way up there and still got the quicker than you. I know as I see, I know it's been a long day. You resorted. I sense evil in your party, friend. I cannot allow you or evil companions to threaten the good people of Baldur's... What? What are you doing, you stupid man? I've just come to buy some stuff. Go on. Kill him. Kill him now. What is it this time? Evil. Get over here. You imbecile. You really think I'm going to have you? Cheeking me off like this? Right. 
Moron. You. Party's reputation decreased by three. I didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice. He attacked me. <laughs> what? What's our reputation now? Six. Oh my god. He attacked me, man. Spit it out. Right, what's this then? Dark you right. if we don't change our ways. Sorted. Oh, the innkeeper's run off now as well. Oh, he's coming back now. Go on, like it here. I'm on it. There's nothing to be afraid of, innkeeper. I, he attacked me, remember? Royal accommodations. I'm on it. Don't think we'll be sleeping in here anytime soon. It's not after the scene we've just caught. Well, I say we've just caught. Sorted. The Flaming Fist Headquarters? Who's this character? Right, what's this then? Yo, he acts would speak at you, but tis destined to be so. Thou was presumed to speak to Tiax the Great. Thy bravery is oddly tempered with foolishness. Still, Sirik has decreed that I seek out the services of one such as thyself. Tiax himself, myself, will aid in your quest. In return, when the time is right, your might will forge the way for my ascension to power. I can't, he looks like a dwarf, so Godan would be highly interested in having him in our party. But uh, forging the way for your ascension to power, there's only room for one person to ascend to power in this party, and that is me. So for now, no, I don't accept your offer. <laughs> so you wish to aid me, and in return I help you dominate the planet? Okay, just let me know when you're going to ascend. Oh, he's actually coming along. Who is he anyway? Tiax. Uh, uh, I wouldn't mind looking. But I don't want to remove another party member in case they run off somewhere, so we'll bear him in mind. He's a dwarf, isn't he? Not he's a dwarf, yeah. Remove for now. Yeah. Who dares prod TX? Trying to think who would stay behind and who would we know Dawn and Nero would go back to the friendly arm. I think Yeslik might stay behind if we remove him. It's a bit of a fact, isn't it? We'll, we'll leave it for now. We'll bear it in mind. But yeah, a fellow dwarf is good, but a fellow dwarf that craves rising to power? Don't think Godan likes the sound of that. I think him and Tiax would be at each other's throats. And having one person who uh, who Godan is battling with Dawn is, is enough. Having Dawn and Tiax? Something would have to give, wouldn't it? The general store. Three big headed people who think they're all powerful and, and, and wise and uh, the best thing since sliced bread. No, no, no. They were like putting three maniacs in the Big Brother house, wouldn't it? You just know it's just doomed to explode into chaos and somebody would end up worse off, shall we say. Or dead. <laughs> right, we'll have a look in here. Spit it out. Sorted. Welcome to my humble establishment. Okay, do you sell anything useful? No. You rang. Sorted. You don't. I should not be surprised. Right, what's this then? So we've got the Flaming Fist headquarters, we've got the Ju the, 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 um, the Iron Throne headquarters. We've come across a few areas here. Have we not? Have to remember where they all are <laughs> when we, from when we actually come back here uh, properly. I think we're done. I think... Oh, we're not quite done. There's a, up here to, to do yet. Alright. Bring our sorry hides back this way. That's when there's a rotten egg. Whee! See ya! Uh, wait a minute. Could be a shortcut here. What's this? Ah, 
Aha. There you go. Shortcut. So we'll unlock this particular little map point. That goes up to there. Um, we've got that there. So we've explored the lower region of Baldur's Gate, the southern area. The northern area is left. Um, but for now, I think we're all we're all pooped out. We've done some shopping. We've stumbled across a few familiar faces. A few friendly faces, a few not so friendly faces, um, and taken note of a few key landmarks in the area. But for now, I think we are on, wanting to rest up for the rest of the day in the Elsong Tavern. Sorted. We'll have Nera learn her new spells. We'll have Nera identify some more of those scrolls that we purchased, hoping that some of them aren't cursed and that we can still make a profit on our purchase and then tomorrow morning bright and early we can head out once more and explore northern Baldur's Gate looking ultimately for uh, a few items Sorted. that we can take to Durlax Tower an improved axe an improved sling maybe something else out there that we're not quite sure of that we don't know that's out there amulets, rings, anything that might just be useful. And then once we've done that, we'll be ready to tackle the tower. So join me next time for some more shopping with Godan. <laughs> See you soon.